everybody, George here at Everest HQ in beautiful St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, welcome to the channel if you're new. If you've already subscribed to us, welcome back. Uh, so here at Everest, we're going to be traveling to uh, Switzerland to go visit our manufacturer. And in addition to that, we're going to make a journey to Poland for Oro Kronos, which is a watch convention on October 5th and 6th. Uh, but really, I also wanted to touch base on that we're literally going right into fall, which means that it's leather season. So I'll just do a wrist check right now. I'm wearing my LV Sub, uh, better known as the Hulk, on steel in-link tan leather, uh, which is just a fantastic combo. And I really love the way this looks for fall. And that kind of got me thinking, I should probably do a tutorial for how to wear your watch and how to travel with your watch in the fall. And uh, so I wanted to kind of go over what I'm going to be bringing on our trip to Europe. All right, so this is what I bring along on my journey in my trusty backpack. So always got to have a watch roll because we always have to bring along more than one watch because one is never enough, but also for content creation you gotta have multiple. So you can see this is our new uh, Cork 3 watch roll. This roll is just fantastic to travel with because as you can see it's impossible for the watches to clink. They're not going anywhere. Um, in addition to that, it's sealed nice and safely with four snaps on a three watch roll. So just solid roll to travel with uh, and a great travel companion. Not worried about anything getting to those watches. So the cork roll is perfect to travel and fall with because it's made of cork and because of that this isn't going to show any scratches like the leather so I'm not going to have to worry about it and the color itself is kind of muted and it's very unique uh, within you know kind of the stuff that I'm traveling with so it just stands out on its own and that's one of my favorite parts about it. And what we're going to be bringing along on the trip here is the LN GMT Master 2 on this beautiful curved in chestnut. Then also uh, new to the fam is of course the Panerai Luminor collection. We're gonna be rocking it on the new Praline leather, uh, which is completely new to us. And we were really excited to see the response we got at the global Red Bar meetup. And then in addition, followed by uh, always fun Air King on green rubber. Uh, but in addition to traveling with a watch roll and watches, you have to bring, of course, your spring bar tool and screwdriver, because we're obviously going to want to change straps as we're going. Um, of course, we're going to probably get requests to see certain watches on different straps, so it's very crucial that I have my spring bar tool and my screwdriver. In addition to that, we're going to actually have the other straps. Uh, so for, for reasons with my Hulk, we're going to have green rubber, uh, curved in green rubber. And then of course the camo because we can put that on our GMT Master 2, which will make it a very sporty look if uh, we want to have fun with it while we're over there in Europe. Um, I'll bring other straps along as well, but just for the purpose of this video, I figured those would be two nice straps to highlight. Last but not least, you gotta always have a trusty watch cleaning cloth. This thing is awesome. The Everest uh, little gears on there. You can also use it as a pocket square. Uh, if you just want to be fun and kind of dress up. Uh, but this thing is fantastic for cleaning your watches. Uh, it's also really handy for cleaning off your sunglasses, your phone, uh, and the camera lenses as well while I'm kind of switching between lenses and whatnot. Um, this is just a must have on any watch travel trip. You're gonna keep your watches nice and clean without having to go to the sink and get some. All right, so now that we've covered all of the watch-related stuff for the travel on our trip, I kind of wanted to do a little overview of the tech and equipment that I'm going to be bringing on the trip because I've had some people ask, how do you guys do it? Uh, so we'll just start off with the most important tool for capturing this is our camera. So this is a A6300 Sony mirrorless camera with a 30mm uh, factory uh, Sony lens been really happy with this camera. I've had it for more than a year now. Uh, just snapped some really crisp uh, shots with the 24 megapixels. Uh, following off of the camera, something I picked up especially for this trip is this new, uh, to me, iFootage monopod. It has these nice little legs, um, just incredible uh, monopod with the amount of 
flexibility that it has in the sense of length that you can do. And then of course, even this ball joint here pivots. So I'm gonna be really excited to use this on the trip. Um, following off of the camera stuff here, in addition to all of that, you always have to have a nice computer to run Photoshop. Uh, this is a 13 inch MacBook that I use uh, to edit all of our photos. Uh, we're gonna be seeing a lot of exciting things, so we wanna make sure that it all looks good when we're posting it. Um, in addition to that, one thing that I've started using quite regularly on trips are little lithium ion battery packs. Um, these guys are so handy to have on you all the time, essentially. Uh, I've been able to get two to three charges from these guys. Um, this one's an anchor, really happy with this. And then in addition to that, to tie it all together, uh, are of course cords. So this is a six foot uh, USB to lightning anchor cord, um, which I just absolutely love because you're able to have your battery pack plugged up in your backpack and then have this cord all the way out uh, to you on your phone and not have any issues or snags and you're just able to keep going, which is really nice. Well, guys, thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you're new, again, smash that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you guys stay up to date on all of our videos. And as always, we really appreciate you guys watching these. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and we'll get back to you. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.